Jared Gaither. I started calling this guy out in August because his teammates started calling him out in August because he's a faker and a fraud. Today, the Chargers, as expected, released the left tackle, the big six foot nine, the man who they knew as the big lazy. That was his reputation. That was his nickname in Baltimore. He came to the Chargers November 30th, 2011. They claimed him off of waivers after the Kansas City Chiefs released him. Over the next five games, and get this, to his credit, Jared Gaither started a game in Jacksonville five days later on December 5th, 2011. And over the next five games there, the Chargers go 4-1, and one, and Jared Gaither played as well as a left tackle could possibly play, let alone one that really he didn't get a training camp and they were just going. They, he didn't have a chance to really learn the offense. The guy did not allow a sack, hardly allowed Phillip Rivers to even be, uh, you know, whispered on. Uh, then comes free agency. There are no other left tackles out there. Marcus McNeil retires uh, after they'd given him the big contract, and that's, you know, through no fault of their own. The guy they wanted had neck issues and had to retire. Jared Gaither, the only starting left tackle out there. The Chargers give him a four year, $24.5 million contract, of which $9 million payable in the first season and is guaranteed. Jared Gaither, on the first practice of training camp, no pads leaves with cramps with a few minutes left. Full body cramps, huge old cramps. Guy who's 6'9", 317. Comes back the next day, practices. The following day after that, so this is the third day of full squad workouts. First padded practice, Jared Gaither hurts his back. He does not practice again for about five weeks. Finally plays in the fourth game of the season at Kansas City. Is pretty darn good for three quarters, has a rough fourth quarter, but hey, it's the Kansas City Chiefs who won two games all year. Chargers win that game, and I praised Jared Gaither profusely then. And his teammates, who by the way, had started to mumble about him and question his manhood and his ability to play through pain. They, here's what teammates are all about, they stand with their buddy. And so, and, and if you can perform and help the team, then teammates will be quick to forgive. And they were, and Jared Gaither was welcomed back in. The next week in New Orleans, he gets hurt. He ends up playing a total of four games, and it wasn't even four full games. He started four games, he gets $9 million, despite what Tom Telesco, the new general manager, and Mike McCoy, the new head coach, said that everyone was gonna get a fresh start. The owner, Dean Spanos, was never going to let Jared Gaither back in that building, all right? The, the idea that Tom Telesco talked to Jared Gaither via the phone, uh, I'm not saying that was for show. Certainly, Tom Telesco wanted to talk to Jared Gaither and see what he was all about was not going to happen. And teammates, again, if I could get back to that, they were not going to tolerate this guy being back in the building. I've covered professional sports for two decades, and I've never seen anything like what I saw this year in teammates turning on a guy, uh, talking to me about this man. They believe, Dean Spanos believes, he was robbed by Jared Gaither in terms of $9 million. The team believes they were robbed in terms of he plays left tackle, protects Phillip Rivers' blindside, and it was important that he played last year, and they did not get a chance to be as good as they could be because Jerry Gaither was not there for them. Here's how it was described to me at one point by someone familiar with Jared Gaither being uh, tested by team doctors. He had the pain threshold of someone with ovaries, all right? Now, I wanna tell you something. My wife lives in chronic pain. She's the toughest person I know, so I do not say that lightly. Uh, women can be tough, but this is a 6'9 left tackle in the NFL, and they would try to do minor things to test his back, and he would wince in pain. The man absolutely defrauded the Chargers and the San Diego fans and that is I don't know if I've said enough but that's about all I have to say about Jerry Gaither when we come back I don't know we're talking MMA golf and and Padres and all that sort of stuff all right I'll see you